Yo, what up? This Naughty by Nature, Ill Town Sluggers, KG. Shout out to my homie, Fetty, Ill City TV. We in here, Ill Town. Ill City! What's going on, K man? How you doing, man? I'm good, Fetty. Well, you, know you know what time it is, man. Just work it, man. Yeah, as always, man. You're always working hard, man. I want to congratulate you on the 25 years anniversary. Thanks. You know, um, I want to talk about uh, that uh, that that new joint you got coming out, man. That new Slugger joint. Yeah, we I've got been hearing a lot of I've been hearing a lot of wave and a lot of buzz about Definitely. that, man. We got the Ill Town Sluggers project coming, and basically, man, to be honest with you, it's just it's my way of working with a bunch of new cats coming up. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of artists that's been coming to me for years and okay. all that. You know, a lot of pop artists, a lot of singers, all types of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I've just been putting together records, putting together records, and I feel like now's the time to do it, man, and just give the platform to these younger cats and let them run with the wave, man. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome, run man. Run with the wave. But that's definitely Coming cool, over man. here, man, and rocking with y'all, it brings me home, man. So I'm just like, dang, I got I to gotta, I gotta do a hip-hop joint, though. Oh, definitely. man. I, and that's I my next. Actually, my next one is R&B, because this one is, like, more pop. Okay. So it's pop and dance and different stuff, but my next one's gonna be R and B, and then I'm doing a straight hip hop joint. Yo. Really, straight really hip hop. You want to drop some names? You want to drop some things that uh? What a straight hip hop? Bro? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I ain't even started yet. Oh, okay. I ain't started yet. I'm talking about y'all inspired me to do that. Really? Yeah, y'all inspired me oh, to do man. that. You know, like when you when you come around it, man, it's just like, dang, I missed this, man. Mm -hmm. So bring it home, man. You know that ill town way. That's awesome, bro. That is definitely awesome, man. And um, we've been rocking with you for a long time, man. Oh, man. You, know you and Naughty, I knew since you and kids, Queen. And y'all was this little, man. Yeah, like, man. Running around the hood, man. You know, we came up together, man. Yeah. I ain't that much older than you. Nah, nah. We came up together, you know. Yeah. Just to see your growth, though, man. Um, The way you just stay relevant and the way you uh, expire. Um, I just want to ask you, um, to these new up and artists that want to get into production and... Um, tap into the industry what's what's one of the major things that you would think that uh a upcoming uh producer the fundamentals they need to have to really stick to it and really stand out i think the fundamentals number one is just the love you gotta love love music so when you start off loving music first and foremost then you get into digging back and understanding where it come from the origin of it Mm -hmm. Meaning like the samples, mm -hmm. get into a lot of artists ahead of you, I mean, bef that came before you, mm -hmm. understanding the style, different styles of music, you know, from doo-wop to mm -hmm. jazz to pop to mm -hmm. rock to everything, man. And just understanding all genres of music mm -hmm. and get that love into you. And once you get that love into you, then you can spread it out and do it. A lot okay. of cats now, not everybody, but a lot of cats are just looking to do it just because they see other people doing it and yeah. that's a quick way to get quick trend quick trend yeah yeah, yeah. and then mm. just trying to grab a bag real quick figuring they could just mm. it's a quick come up mm. but when you love to do it, especially as a producer then you understand like i said the basis of everything and you mm -hmm. have your basis covered mm -hmm. like i was talking the other day with another young cat and i was telling him we were talking about producing so we were messing with a loop and then we were just talking about different ways to go and different ways to go but me and my man that's, you know, a vet in the game, we would just start referencing break beats, start yeah. referencing different he, things for his drums. Could, could, and could, he, couldn't he, really, couldn't, he couldn't relate to it. Well, he couldn't because he's younger. Yeah. And that's why I say when I say about the love and understanding, yeah. you know, just all of the stuff from back, because then you have a reference you could go off of. Do your homework. Yeah. Do exactly. your homework. Do your exactly. homework. Yeah. Exactly. And it ain't, a, and I'm not saying it's the young cat's fault. Yeah. All I'm saying is, is that you need to do it just so when that type of stuff do come up or just period across the board, even when you're producing or whatever you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, you can always recall something and say, yo, that's the style of Jimi Hendrix mm -hmm. or that's the style of James Brown, mm -hmm. you know, or that's the style of this or so-and-so. That's Marvin Gaye's style of music. I want to do something like that. Even if it's original, mm -hmm. you understand it and you have a bed or a platform that you could start with mm -hmm. or something that you can relate to and say or recall to and say okay that style of music i want to do it that style right now that's i want to do it for now mm -hmm. but i want to put a little bit of that feel to a little, it. A little but you can't do it if you're not you know familiar with that stuff and i'm so glad you touched on that 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 is so relevant to all these new artists they just want a quick wave you got to do your research and do your homework so you can embed old styles into the new. Exactly. And even if you don't want to embed it, just understand it. It's yeah. just always, I mean, knowledge is power, man. Just the same thing with schoolwork or anything. Infinite. You never Infinite. know yeah. what can come up. 
So if you study a lot of stuff, uh -huh. when anything just pops up, you know, you can recall it and you could just be mm. like, oh, okay, I remember that. You could bridge it. Yeah, you had the option I mean, of bridging. Exactly. And you understand it. If somebody come up to you and say, what's, what's, what's two mm. plus two? You already know. I don't study. There's four. You know, it's mm. that simple. So it, it's the same concept overall. I got you. So um, I want to touch a base on, on some of your uh, idols before you got in the game as far as... Uh, Production. Mm -hmm. Did you always knew you was gonna get into production? Nah, it started. It I just, started, it just, it just, it, it just evolved. It evolved. Yeah, the production side evolved from DJing. Okay. It evolved from DJing, and you know, me and Mufi from the block down okay. at 18th Street. Me and Mufi started. Shout, off. shout out to Mufi. Shout out to Mufi. That's yeah. the homie. Word okay. up. So we started off DJing together, mm -hmm. coming home from school and just going into the basement, into his basement, and just DJing, DJing and DJing, and just practicing, just loving the culture. Mm. Just loving it, Put, man. Putting, you know, the, putting the work in, just loving it. Culture. Yeah, like we saw Wild Style and just like, yo, I want to do that. Mm. I want to be a DJ. So he started being a DJ, and as you being a DJ, one of the main things that you being a DJ after that, after you after getting into it, you want to start getting familiar with records. Mm. So you start finding out what records I can catch a piece to break or a piece of a break to run. Mm -hmm. And when you start doing that, you just start subconsciously evolving to, well, dad, I might can loop that mm. and make a beat out of it. So that's how, like, if you think back and look at almost all producers, they're in, in some kind of form or some kind of way, probably a DJ. Originated from yep. it, then they just but, evolved. But that's what it started with, y'all. Yep. I started with it as a DJ and then just evolved, you know, and I just... Eventually got an NPC and I just sat there mm -hmm. and was just whack <laughs> and, went, and just just getting better and better and better, man. Give me, give me, give me an insight of going into the studio and going into just breaking the, getting into a KG zone, the zoning out into a, for a new project to give you the energy to taking it to a whole nother level. Because you've been doing it for 25 years. Yeah. So what still gives you the energy? and the, uh, the power to still do what you do. I mean, the love. Like I said, number one, the love. If you love to do it, man, it's not a job. It's just fun. It's, it's fun, man. Mm -hmm. It's a hobby. It's the best job ever. You just, you, you doing what you love to do and you just happen to get paid, you know, good great amount of money to mm -hmm. do it or a good amount of money to do it. So when you're doing that, it's what can be better? So the love drives me every day. Also, just being competitive, mm -hmm. being competitive listening to what other cats are doing, new okay. cats coming up, even the vets that's out, they're still doing their thing now. Mm -hmm. You know, just all just all the way around, like listening to, like I said, the new cats that, that might come on and you just like, for some reason, that joint right there is hot. Or you might be like, I don't really, I don't really rock with that, but everybody else rocking with it. And then you asking, your, like me personally, I ask myself, well, why? You know, I might not personally like it, mm. but why is everybody rocking with mm. it? So I start to, to get just, the understanding, to, just to get, get the understanding, understanding of why it is. Yeah. And then say, okay, I got, I, I get it, I mm -hmm. get it. So if I got to do something like that, then I can recall on that. And I know that that's why they like that. Or there's a certain thing here. They like 808s. They mm -hmm. like this. They like bass lines. They like this. They like the hi hats tripping. Mm -hmm. Just different things, you know, like I just study for that. Everything what's going on. And at the same time, like I said, I just, you know, I, I love to look at guys that may have came come out come before me, mm -hmm. or even guys that came out my time, okay. and say, "Dad, they still doing it, and why? Why are they doing it?" Who was those guys that you uh you, you was looking up to? Let me drop some names to those guys that you that inspired you to do what you're doing, what you're doing now. Oh man, number one, man, like first, like you go back to producers like Quincy Jones. Mm. And guys like legend, that. yeah, legend, definitely. Mm. But I mean, even even like as far as hip hop, mm -hmm. man, Marley Mall, Marley Mall, Marley Mall, yeah, that mm. whole Juice Crew era, Godfather. all that stuff, yeah, all that mm. stuff he was doing for Big Daddy Kane and Coogee Rap mm. for the whole Juice Crew over there, MC Shan, mm -hmm. all that stuff. He was also doing stuff for Egg and Rakim. Mm -hmm. He was doing stuff for a lot of people, man, and then. It was just, it embodies what hip hop really is. And that's the ever in the time I came up. So all yeah. of that stuff, you know, Biz Marquee and all that stuff, mm. man. Those cats, man. I, those I building blocks, those building blocks. Yeah, man. Even to, to, like today. Teddy Riley. Uh -huh. Teddy Riley, Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. All those guys, man. And even, you know, as time went on to the Timberlands of the world, man. Jermaine Dupri. Doc, I mean, I said Dr. Dre. I mean, Pharrell. Mm -hmm. um, um, Timberland. Swiss Beats, all kinds of dudes, man. Knots, I mean, Knots. Mm. Yeah, 
it's a lot of cats out there, man. These dudes are dope, man, and they've been dope, man, and they're still doing it too. Yeah, man. Tip the hat to all the legends and to all the producers that laid the foundation to all for for the track work for all these new guys, man. Yeah. So it's it's, it's important for uh the genders to do their homework. Yeah, definitely, man. You yeah. should, man. That's the way anything, yeah. man. Like I said, man, like when you in school, they send you home with homework, man. So yeah. if you want to jump in this game, you got to do your homework. Same with sports, man. Mm. Like you ain't gonna, you're not gonna sit down with a guy that's playing sports and they're not gonna, you know, study the game. You Take the work study. ethic series. Exactly. Yeah. So I just think that you know everybody should do that, man. Definitely. I don't care what genre or what it is that you're doing. Yeah. Just study it. And it definitely shows, man. You you 25 years plus in the game. You still at it, man. You still got the charisma. You still got the energy, and you still putting those those classic beats. Now, let me ask you something. What, if you could give two words, what to, what to find your sound, a KG sound? Two words. Bass lines. Mm. Bass lines. Which equal grooves. Mm. Bass line that equals grooves. Yeah, I love grooves, man. Okay. So, even if it's going to be hip hop, I like it I like it with bass lines. Okay. Grooving. And, if, and especially, you know, when I go to the R&B stuff, man, yeah. I like grooves. I came up on club music and mm. all that, man. You know, club music ain't nothing but bass line and grooves. Yeah, you definitely ain't no stranger to uh, R&B, man. You put out a lot of acts with the R&B, man. And um, it's, it's, it's something that is legendary. Being from the town that you from, I definitely was there in the early 90s just seeing you put the town on your back and doing what you do. You know, having so many West Coast artists coming through the town, yeah. so many NBA players. I mean, I remember one of the first times I met C. Webb was through you, man. Yeah. You know, and this yeah. before he got signed to uh, Washington. Yeah. He was out there. Yeah. And um, and Rod Strickland too. Shout out to Rod Strickland, man. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny Anderson, yeah. J. Rose. Special K. We had the yeah. whole crew out there, man. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Can we expect the KT track in the, in, in the future for Reek the Kid? I'm gonna make sure I get on something. You heard, you heard it here first, man. You heard it here first, man. <laughs> hard, you heard, too. You heard it here first, man. Yeah. Hell City. Hard. You heard it first here, man. Um, K, just shout out to uh to uh to all the people. Let them know what you got coming. Um, let's talk about that. You want you want to plug that uh that sluggers? Definitely, man. Just be on the lookout. Got the Illtown Slugger project coming at you. I got a couple of people from Jersey that um I'm working with as far as artists. You know, new artists that's coming up through the Illtown Slugger and Slugger Music brand. So y'all be on the lookout for that, man. And just like I said, it's just, it's the Illtown Slugger movement. And be on the lookout for it. And I got some other stuff coming at you, too. And this naughty chapter ain't over with, baby. Watch this. Mm. That's in the that's in the mm. works. Definitely. It ain't over. We taking a break <laughs> right now. Yeah. And we, we just doing shows and you ain't heard no music from us. But you will soon. It ain't over. Trust me. You hear that, man? You hear that? The catalog is extensive, but he's working. He's working on a new catalog. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Well, K, I appreciate you, man, taking your time out your day to slide through with us, man, and uh, chopping it up with me. Um, you know, it's always a blessing to see you, and I wish all the endeavors to you, man. Most success, man. Continuous success, man. Amen. Jersey. Jersey.